Welcome. Welcome to the third episode of The Resistance. My name is Cal Molade from Richmond, Virginia, and I'm an anarchist. Today's show is going to talk about a variety of topics, including uh, a recap over uh, Agorism Day, uh, our next freedom holiday, Philosopher's Day, which is going to be on the first Monday of October, and the next uh, Freedom Gathering. Um, that's on the 29th of September, so mark your calendars. <laughs> Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is go over some fat mail. Just kidding. This is my uh, voter's registration card that just came in the other day. And I've always been a big advocate for uh, recycling. Um, I could never throw away, I guess, like empty bottles and stuff like that. I always kind of have to hold on to them until I, like, I find a receptacle. <laughs> Even if I have to carry it for, uh, for a mile or two or just um, inconvenience myself. but. I don't know. Um, I think every little bit we can do, right, to live in little as much uh, possible carbon footprint behind, it uh, helps. So I'm going to do my part by recycling this, shredding this, of course. It's always very important to shred. Personal pertinent information has like addresses and things of that nature. You never know what, uh, what kind of uh, agency is looking through your trash cans, right? All right, so uh, let's talk about the question of the week. Let's see. Oh, all right, this is a fun one. Um, where can I get an anarchy armband like yours? Well, uh, I made mine after, uh, <laughs> I guess before Liberate RBA started, I was looking online to see if there were uh, anarchy armbands, I guess, um, and there weren't. Um, there were there were some badges. There was that um, that symbol that's kind of like outside the circle, that that letter A, and that's kind of popular. But uh, it wasn't really what I was kind of going for. And and I guess in a way um, to help promote the uh, do-it-yourself culture, you know, the DIY, I just uh, made my own. Um, of course, with some help with uh, my girlfriend uh, Sarah and Rachel, great seamstress, really great crafty people. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what I just did. I just made my own. <laughs> um, I didn't see anything out there in the market that had what I needed, so I just uh, provided my own needs, pretty much. And and you can make one too, right? This is um, you don't have to make one just like this. You can individualize your armband. Um, my friend Harjun, for example, he's he's a genius. He's like the scientist guy um, in, in this movement here. Uh, he's stylizing his own to include. Um, like a, a proton symbol to make this look like an, an atom as well. And so you can individualize, it doesn't all have to look the same, right? This movement has room for individualism, right? We have the, the, the footprints, we have enough footprints, we have the blueprints, right? To set up the freedom movements, the templates, like the websites uh, that we have, and pretty much just run with it, right? You, this is not a movement that we have to get together as a group and, and vote or, or have a consensus on every little thing, right? You can do group work, you can do individual work, you can do, really the end game is, the end game is freedom, right? So, I mean, as long as you're not advocating violence, right? Murder, rape, assault, theft, you know, anything else is good to go. And, and if you need help with the anarchy armbands, um, my girlfriend can help you out too, and so can Rachel. Um, you'll find them on my friends list. You'll find um, her under Bugatti Veyron and Rachel under her last name, Ratch, Rach, uh, Ratchet Cat. <laughs> um, and then, and then um, send them a message um, with the way you want to stylize it. And um, yeah, just uh, get with them if you want to make your own uh, armband. Um, well, okay, so the philosophy, not the philosophy, the, the reason behind the armband is well, like in World War II, a lot of wars and stuff like that, you'll find medics out there that have the, uh, the cross symbol right on their helmets painted on, and people will identify them as uh, the, the people to go to, right? If you need help, right? If you um, need assistance. And, and in that way, I want to bring that back. And, and I guess in, out here, in my own community, right? <sighs> This, this one day, people will start seeing this as more as a, as a symbol, kind of like people saw medics back in the, in the battlefields and such. People will see the anarchy symbol as, um, people will come up to you if you're wearing anarchy armband, right? You're the uh, philosopher doctors, right? We're not saying we have all the answers, but we can help you uh, get you, point you in the right direction, right? Um, in that area where we can find answers together, right? 
And so that's really why I do this. That's really why I wear this pretty much every day. Um, and uh, to help other people come out, you know, to help other people um, also have the courage to stand up, right? To show them that we're not afraid, you know? To show them that we're not the anarchists that the mainstream media portrays us to be. You know, we're more than that. And so this is just another way to help um, unify us, to help um, identify us um, in our community. And yeah, so it's pretty much another way to help promote the uh, do-it-yourself culture. Um, so yeah, get in touch with both of them if you want to make your own anarchy or band. All right. Now our uh, next segment of the day is what I like to call news from underground. All right, so Agrism Day. Agrism Day was uh, was a lot of fun. So that was uh, well, I guess over Agrism Day weekend. <laughs> um, that was on the third of September. That was our that was our uh, second freedom holiday. The first one was Anarchy Day. And uh, the third one coming up is Philosopher's Day, but we'll get there in one second. So we had about 300 people, nearly 300 people celebrate Agorism Day. That's, that's a lot. That's impressive. That's, that's great. That's more than double than we had for Anarchy Day. And it seems like it's getting bigger and bigger. And that's kind of where we want to go, right? We eventually want to go to having our own freedom calendar, right? Um, forget all this, you know, President's uh, birthday listed in our calendars that we're, we have to accept. And we can create our own calendars, we can create our own holidays. Um, and remember, this is not about, um, you know, fuck you to status holidays. This is pretty much, you can celebrate your own holidays, we'll celebrate our own as well, right? And But you're still more than welcome to come um, and check it out along with us, right? <laughs> uh, you're still well, more than welcome to ask questions, more than welcome to um, just to celebrate with us. And so the next one is going to be Philosopher's Day, but before we get there, I just wanted to announce the winner of the John Galt's One Ounce Copper Medallion. And that is... I used a table of random digits to, to do this. So the first set of numbers was 033. Three. And since we had uh, nearly 300 people, that's a three-digit number there. So usually you just count um, 33 people down the list, and that will tell you who the random person, the winner of this prize was. And that was actually <laughs> Stephanie Murphy from Pork Therapy. So Stephanie Murphy, uh, you can claim your uh, John Gold coin. You're a winner. You're the Agris winner from uh, the Freedom Holiday. So I'll get touch in touch with you. I'll send you a message and, um, you know, give me your uh, address and I'll send off you this uh, awesome coin, right? Or um, help promote alternative currencies as well. All right, and yeah, so that's that was Agorism Day, and the next one up is going to be Philosopher's Day. So let's talk about that. Let's plant the seeds of freedom in our community by celebrating Philosopher's Day on the second Monday of October. What is philosophy? Philosophy, which is Greek in origin, is defined simply as the love of wisdom. From existentialist writers like Fyodor Dostoevsky to objectivists like Anne Rand, let's share our love for wisdom together. Share with us who your favorite philosophers are and why. Share with us your recommendations for a good philosophical book to read too. And anyone who values the non-aggression principle and wants freedom in our lifetime can join as well. So invite your friends and share with us your creative ways to be celebrating this freedom holiday. So that's Philosopher's Day on the second Monday of October. So let's talk about the next Freedom Cafe that's taking place later this month. It's going to be on the 29th on a Saturday. Um, doors open at 7 p.m. Potluck starts at 7.30 and this is an omnivorous potluck. So you can bring anything and everything you want, you know, and your favorite dish, your favorite drink. Um, this is also BYOB or B-I-O-W. <laughs> Part will be provided. And uh, so yeah. Um, Come on over. Let's let's uh, discuss about philosophy. Let's discuss discuss about uh, let's share our ideas, right? Let's get let's share our ideas. Let's let's get us all to a better place. Let's discuss all the issues that's happening here in Richmond in our own community, and the freedom gatherings is really that's that's what that's about. The freedom gatherings is not just it's more than just bringing people together and creating a community, but it's about um, really resolving our differences. Really about talking about what's important to us. Um, it's about uh, making those connections and uh, with other people who understand um, those ideas and you know, I guess your uh, endeavors, your aspirations, where you want this city to go. 
you know. Um, and so it's about bringing all these like-minded people together as well. And pretty much, uh, we're, we're going to have this every month. We're going to have a freedom gathering every single month. And so, yeah, so come on over. Um, around 8.15, we're going to start the philosophical discussions. And, you know, just as much as we're sharing food and wine, we're also going to share some philosophy. And that's going to last for until about 9.30. 9.30, we're going to have the freedom party afterwards. Um, my friend Alberto, yeah, poor Mr. Strings, he's going to be performing for us too, um, is pretty much, you can pretty much pick up any uh, musical instrument and play it. And not just play it, but uh, make you kind of swoon to it as well. <laughs> he's really good. He's very talented. He's, he's from Bolivia. He came here a few years ago, and he's he kind of hit the ground running with his music. Um, He's got a lot of he's got a lot of interesting uh, I guess repertoires uh, mixed with uh, like heavy metal and um, like Rage Against the Machine with uh, with classics and um, musicals and stuff like that. Um, he's also a student at VCU, so support your local musicians. Um, so yeah, so uh, and, and the list to the um, activities will be added on you know for the next two weeks and such. So I guess wherever you are, you know, it's freedom gatherings so or just as a way to start bringing people together, start talking about um, the problems we have in our community, start talking about freedom, right? Um, like you don't, like when you talk to people in your day-to-day -day interactions, well when you have a moment to talk to people about anarchism, about freedom, um, you know, you don't have to convince them right away, you don't have to convince them in that 30 minute time span, right? That's just the, uh, that's the hook, right? That's the, that's the way just to bring them in. And, and then you can say, you know, if you have more questions, um, you know, come join us at our event. Come join us at our freedom gathering, right? Um, we all want to get to a better place, but we can't get there on a, on a system that's founded on violence, you know? Um, we can only get there if we're united on shared values. We can only get there if, if we all believe on values for equality, um, for nonviolence, for freedom. And so, wherever you are, <laughs> um, across the country, all over the world, you know, um, make, make these events fun. Right, make these uh, philosophical discussions fun and, and have an after party afterwards. Um, it doesn't have to be that serious, you know. Um, I mean, we don't have much time, but there is enough time, I guess, to to start doing this now, right? There is enough time to to prevent what's coming, the, the inevitable, right? The the fall of the market. There's there's enough time to to save our community you know, before that wave starts crashing, you know, at, at our front doors. And it's time to uh, it's time to start doing something about it. You know, it's time to, to kind of just stop sitting here and start getting up, and start going out there and talking to people, um, and start talking with your friends first. Right? We all have at least um, twelve friends that we can all talk to, right? In our circle, at least at least twelve people that we can kind of talk to. And you know, you can start right there, right? Start talking to you to your friends, or start talking to your, your mother, your father, your brother, your sister, your cousins, um, extended cousins, um, twice removed cousins, um, and then from there just start going out there in the, in the community, start talking to strangers, and you'll find that this, you guys are not really that strange at all, you know, between one another, actually we all actually share the same um, values, we all share the same resistance to to violence in our day to day lives. I've, I've talked to about 200 people, um, you know, using this sign, going out there talking to people and inviting the question. Right? People come up to me. I'm not coming up to them. I'm not yelling at them. I'm not screaming. I'm not, you know, standing on a box, you know, shouting out and raising my fists. Um, doing my own thing, right? Invite the question. When you do that, the defense is lower. When you do that, people, people ask out of curiosity. Right? Or out of humor. Doesn't matter. At least they're there. At least, at least now you have a position um, and an environment where it's conducive for that. It's conducive to, to share these ideas. You're not going to get that at a protest. You're not going to get that at a screaming match. Um, you know, and, and even, if you, even if you feel that it didn't work out, even if you feel that the other person didn't get it, um, couldn't see like a little bit more of the matrix, um, you know, just think, take that, take that as a, as a lesson, right? Uh, we're out here to, uh, to practice our uh, verbal self-defense, our uh, anarchism and stuff like that, our uh, kung fu of, um, of words. And so take what, uh, what worked and what didn't work and then apply for the next conversation. 
right? That's the only way to get better at this, is really just to, to do it. Um, you're not going to convince the first or two, you know, first person in a while. Um, it might take you over a month, but um, you'll get better at it. I promise you that. I know that. Um, and that's really all you have to do, is just talk to people about it. You know, we're, I'm kind of done sitting around here watching all these videos, reading all these essays, reading all these books, and, you know, and I can get it, I can get the majors, I can see what's really going on, but um, we're not going to be free until everyone else can see it, right? Um, and that's where you come in. That's where, you know, people are going to remember the ones that, that could have done something, but didn't, right? People are going to remember the ones that came first. People are going to remember the pioneers. And they're going to forget the ones that came last. Right? If, uh, if you're at a restaurant and you know how to perform the Heimlich maneuver, you don't just sit there and continue eating your meal while someone chokes. And I feel it's finally time that all of us start doing something. It's time that all of us let go of the idea that violence will set us free. And start uniting your community. Start talking to people. Start inviting them. <laughs> um, so the, the uh, September uh, Freedom Gap is going to take place here at the Maplewood Anarchy Garden. Um, and that in itself, in the name Anarchy Garden, it's also part of the uh, PR thing that we're doing because there's nothing negative, there's nothing uh, psychological, there's nothing negative associated with the word garden, right? You think positive, you think good, you think health, green. Um, you know, you have a pretty much a good positive vibe, and so, you know, you stick anarchy with that together and you have an anarchy garden. Um, I guess unless you're allergic to tomatoes or something like that, you'll have, you know, aversion to it, but, um, you know, reclaim anarchism in your community, right? Don't let, don't let the mainstream media tell people what it is. Don't let the state tell people what it is. Don't let the people, the pretenders um, who advocate for violence, tell you what it is, right? Um, and then eventually when you do this, you'll find one person, right, who starts listening. You'll find a friend who who start getting in, and they'll find a friend, right? Encourage their friends to talk to other friends, right? Encourage other people to, to talk to other people, right? And eventually you'll, uh, you'll have, uh, it'll be more than just you. Um, in one month, you'll, you'll find one or two other people. Um, in a few months, you might find uh, five or ten more people, but it just grows from there exponentially. And, uh, and that can be stopped, right? Once, uh, once you've seen the matrix for what it is, you can't really go back. Um, that'd be like Cypher from the matrix, uh, who, <laughs> who wanted to go back. But really the only way to go back is to, to erase your memory, right? The only way to go back is to, to forget, to pretend that none of this exists, right? The only way to, to go back to statism is to force yourself to be ignorant, force yourself to be naive, force yourself to, to live in a, in a fantasy world. Um, you know, once, once you see the matrix, once you see the blindness for what it really is, you, you can never go back, right? Once we push all these values together, once we push all these issues together and unitedly and just pushing forward, right, that will never go back. And I don't know, that's, that's really, that's, that's all that the, the resistance is really about. Is just uh, come talking to each other, sharing ideas, sharing tactics, um, encouraging other people to talk about freedom, and that's pretty much what I'm about to go do right now. Oh, so this sign was made by my girlfriend. Um, it was in stencil. She actually took a ruler and and did all this for me. Um, I guess it's the second version of the sign. And, and that's it. That's all you have to do. Uh, you can make flyers, you can pass them out to people if you're not ready to talk to people. Um, I'm going to go print some right now for the Freedom Gathering and pa start passing them out today. Uh, and you, know, you can bring the conversation to, to a better place, right? If you feel the place that you're talking to is not conducive. Remember, this is a freedom movement that can take place anywhere, right? At, at a sidewalk, at a cafe, um, at a restaurant, right? Um, even in the privacy of your own home. And, and no one has to be arrested for this. Right? The state can never stop you and I from just simply talking with one another. And, and that's it. Um, so I hopefully, um, I guess, you know, introduce someone to anarchism um, sometime this month. Right? For the month of September, um, I guess homework assignment, introduce one person into anarchism. Um, if you're ready to talk to your friends about this and stuff like that, introduce, introduce someone new, a total stranger, someone you've never met, and just give it a try. 
right? Give it a try. Start talking about it. Start see where that gets you, right? Um, and then share with me. Share share with me some feedback. You know, I'll help you go along with this as well. And and that's uh, and that's really that's really it, right? The first rule of liberate every day is talk about freedom. The second rule is talk about freedom. So until then, this is your friendly neighborhood anarchist, <laughs> almost says Spider-Man, anarchist signing off from Richmond, Virginia. I'll see you at the victory party.